Hey everyone, I uh, changed out the lighting inside our ice cream freezer to be uh, RGB. <laughs> um, it's RGBW actually, uh, cool white. Um, so now it does this like cycle thing. So imagine like kids and stuff when they see this, like they go crazy. <laughs> um, and it all ties in with Home Assistant, as you can see. Um, I have a, a Tasmoda running on. Um, ESP 8266, I think it was, uh, and then a HO, H801 over here for the light control. I took the top off temporarily um, to show you all the internals of everything. Um, yeah, you can see the ice cream and everything. It, like, it doesn't look too dark or anything. And if you look here, the LED strip, I didn't want to like drill through the metal here and like zip tie it on or anything. Um, and adhesive just always falls. So what I did is I took a JB Weld, the metal weld version, um, and I attached it, and it just holds it on. And you don't even notice it, like when, you, when you're standing over here. Kids and stuff probably see it, but they don't know. Um, and I guess that one fell off. Um, but I mean, it's been here for probably uh, almost a year now. That one probably fell off because I didn't put enough. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not doesn't like crumble in the food or anything or the ice cream um, it's all the way up here so it should be safe um, I see no issues with it but yeah there's a uh, H8 H801 uh, running the lighting control over here it's RGBW uh, and I have um, a 12 volt transformer here uh, and it ties in with wire nut it's like hardwired um, and then I have all these like spare wires and stuff because uh, this used to be fluorescent lights and there was like a toggle switch and um, it, didn't, it didn't work and I, I don't know the ballast and I, I just gave up on it so I got rid of it. Uh, the ballast was actually down in the motor control down there um, so I took it out um, and did it this so it draws a lot less power now also um, and then I have just a strip here because I didn't want to hardwire all this just in case I need to swap it out or something um, but it's all like taped up, um, so everything, it's all soldered and taped. I uh, just have a bunch of tape so it doesn't short out and the wires don't pinch and stuff. Um, but yeah, I ran wires, um, each each door has a reed switch on it. These are like ultra high, I don't know, like magnetic field or something, I don't know. They, they I was having issues, I had cheaper ones and they didn't, they wouldn't detect that the door is closed because these these doors they shift around right and left a little um, and they would if it was too far to the right it would say it was open um, so these ones do a lot better um, and I hot glued it so the wire wouldn't come out um, but I can I can see I have controls over the doors like right and left um, so that way I can tell when I open the door it sets it just just white like I can see what I'm scooping here. Um, and when I shut the door, it automatically goes back to RGB. Um, and that's the same with both sides. It's pretty instant. By the time you actually open the door, it's set to white. When you close it, it goes back almost instantly. Um, now so I can monitor it. So I'm like, oh, someone left the door open for 10 minutes to like, notify me or something. But I have a sensor here. Oh, I have my screen partly hidden. But it tells me the temperature, so if it raises above a certain degree, it'll notify me. And I'm like, hey, there's a problem. i got to get over here or something. Um, so that's cool. So I don't have to worry about the ice cream all melting randomly. Uh, and also, um, that's just ambient temperature. That's not product temperature. Um, you can see the wire here. Um, it doesn't, it's not, it's not like in the product or anything. It's just kind of chilling in the air. Um, so if you, theoretically, if you left the door open, um, for a while, I'll simulate. Let's, let's actually open the Let's get some airflow up in here. Right now, it, oh, see, it was 5.1 out, 7.7. .7. Or even if I just hold, if I hold this, it'll, uh, it'll start warming up, and it's pretty fast. It's like every 15 or something seconds. Yeah, you can see it's really jumping now. Uh, just by me holding it. I'm just gonna put that back. Um, yeah, you can see it's going up to my body heat temperature. Um, but that, I also have a backup in there because what I found, I've, I've had this system running for a while now and I'm making the video now. 
Oh, actually, there's one of the old magnets. <laughs> Should probably take that off. Um, I had a, I have this problem, and I'm lucky that it's working that I can make this video. Um, I apparently bought a cheap sensor. Uh, I don't, I forget what the name is. But apparently, I bought a knockoff, um, and uh, it doesn't like that. So every, <laughs> it'll, it'll probably work for a week or two right now, and then all of a sudden the sensor will just stop working. You know, just become unavailable. Um, in Home Assistant, Tasmoda doesn't even pick it up anymore. Um, and I'll have to like, power cycle it a bunch of times. And then eventually may come back online. Um, but then every like two weeks it just stops again. Um, and I googled it. Apparently it's, um, I bought cheap ones. And they are counterfeit. So, I guess that means buy your, from legit people. Which I'm not sure how to test. Because it's kind of waterproof and stuff. Um, this would be great. I also had an idea of doing it for like our sinks and stuff. Like be like, hey, the water's not hot enough anymore. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, you may be wondering, like, does this just run all night? Like, the lights, you know, it never shuts off. So I have like, when, our, when we're closed, I can, like, this will automatically turn on the boolean. And then when the door opens and closes, it'll be off. So in the middle of the night, if like, if I come in and I want some ice cream at like, midnight, I can open the door. And it'll set it to white, and it'll go right back off. Um, and that just toggles with our hours. Um, and then I'll say I have a, I have a thing, because we could be open, uh, and I just don't want the lights on anymore. So it just, it won't cycle. Because um, technically we're open, but I have the boolean off. Um, but yeah, so hope everyone enjoyed that. <laughs> If you have any questions, let me know or um, try to help you out with them.